Hello everyone and welcome back to Venture Africa and we are here to take another try at this uh, giraffe level which we tried last time and didn't exactly succeed. We also only have, I think that's eight levels left? Yeah, something like that. And uh, yeah, we're pretty close to the end of the game so I don't know exactly what we'll do then. I'll probably leave it up to you guys and if you want to see us do some more um, uh, the sandbox levels, or if you just want to see us uh, end off here and then maybe go on to Venture Arctic at some point soon in the future, because I do have that game as well. Uh, but for now, we're going to go ahead and try and uh, complete this giraffe level, and I do think I have some idea of what I've been doing wrong through a lot of this, actually. So I think one thing that I tend to get caught up in is focusing on getting gems. And I think first and foremostly I need to be focusing on getting these creatures placed and stable and then do the gems. So we're going to try a little bit of a different approach here. Those giraffes look so majestic at night, even on so cloudy a night as this. Yes, and their great advantage is their height. Like us in, their in our balloon, they can see for miles, and they travel long distances in order to find the perfect trees to nibble, nibble on. They are, are also territorial. They will drive off members of other herds if approached. But they are picky animals. These giraffes eschew grasses and bushes for the trees. Perhaps they are arthritic giraffes. Aww. <laughs> so basically what that's saying is these giraffes are going to be pretty migratory. They're going to travel around a lot, a lot like the wildebeest, but they won't eat from bushes, They'll only, and they won't eat from grass. They'll only eat from these trees. So let's place in a couple of them, and uh, we'll try and get them to go and eat from the trees over there. Uh, I think they're probably going to have a pretty low water requirement, so like they won't need to drink a lot of water. Let's have you come off up here and uh, see some of these trees. Oh, you can see all the way over here. Wow, they can see quite a distance. So we'll let them go and eat. And if we click on them or mouse over them, you can see the water requirement drops very, very slowly. Their food requirement actually goes much faster. Now, let's go ahead and we will put some spring hairs in because we do need the gems. We just need to focus more, I think, on getting the animals that we actually need for the, um, not a zebra. Well, we will put zebras, but on the animals that we're actually going to need for our main objectives. So, let's see here. We'll go ahead. We will place some zebras and just try to get a population started there. And we also need to place some wildebeest. So, I think I'll go ahead and put them in here. And what we'll do is we will place, hmm, I do want the wildebeest to be able to travel back and forth between these, but I think we're going to start by um, placing some of these, um, some of these bushes here. So let's go ahead and we'll put in an elephant because we do have a tree here that could help. These wildebeest now, oh, we need to get them, we need to get them farther away. Let's have them leave because the zebras are going to need that, um, that food there. Let's have these guys go all the way over here. They can uh, get to this other watering hole. They should have enough food and water to do that. And we'll try and get them stationed right here. There's actually some grass as well. We will eventually be putting zebras here, but for now, I just want to make sure our population over here isn't going to end up dying off from too little food. So that this will be a good first way to start, I think. Oops, not an elephant. I want to place in another wildebeest, and we'll be able to now place another bush. It's going to kind of just be a balancing act, I think. Oh, now we got to put some flamingos. And what I'm going to do now is start filling this up. Oh, they have had another baby. We can actually place another wildebeest in here. And we're just going to make sure that we get this watering hole very set up here. Now, I'm going to put an elephant in over here as well. And I'm going to start placing some bushes kind of on the in-between as well as some grass so that our wildebeest can actually go back and forth here. Now we do want to probably get more bushes here because this uh, this poor little baby is probably going to end up dying. Okay, um, that's not any good. But um, let's go ahead. We'll place in some of these spring hairs. We want to put another bush over here. Quickly go eat. Go eat quickly. No, 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 no. You, no. Oh, darn it. He's going to die, isn't he? No, he might be getting food. I don't, oh, I think he is. I think he is. He got some food. That's good. I was a little worried he wasn't going to, um, but we don't actually have any predators. So let's see. These spring hares, we've got a small population here, so I'm actually going to introduce our first hyena, and we'll have it go ahead and make a kill and eat, and then we'll put a couple vultures in to circle overhead here and feed off the spring hares that this hyena is going to hunt. Now, we need to probably place... I think another tree here 
because I want to start... Well, this actually isn't a great place to have a lot of elephants. This would be a better one. So I'm going to put another tree over here. And I'm actually going to have this elephant here go running all the way out to the other watering hole because I kind of want him to stay over here and join this other herd. There's just not enough... Um, there's not enough food for him over there, and the water area isn't big enough, and so he's going to cause some problems if we have uh, a large herd of elephants, because it's such a small water area that we're quickly going to lose anything like flamingos that we might add, so we'll put some of them in here. And I will go ahead and add another elephant over here. We're going to have to use some of these to just place trees for the elephant, but uh, if we start to get a population here, then that'll help us out quite a lot uh, towards our goals. In fact, we need another elephant. We got to max out that goal. That's the problem with this sometimes is that we get a bunch of animals on the um, or on the same type here, pretty much, and that can be a problem. Let's go ahead. We'll put some spring here someplace else, and I'm not going to just focus on these animals again. I want to focus on the other kinds as well. I don't know where that grass patch actually is. Is it right? Oh, it's right up here. It, the grass blends in super well a lot of the time, so let's place some more spring hairs there. We'll put some more over here. The good news is these guys don't actually need any water, so we can uh, actually place them in and uh, they can be quite far from water and not uh, not have any problems with that. So this will be another zebra area, I think, and I'm going to fill this one up a little bit more. We have one of two hyenas, so let's just go ahead and we'll place in the second one here. And that'll let us fill up this watering hole a little bit more once this storm is passed. And I'm going to actually take this opportunity to add some zebras here. Now, I think we'll actually put some lions in the other, or in the first watering hole area, and start our population up there. Um, the reason for that is that we've got a pretty solid zebra population. There's also wildebeests that go back and forth. Our zebras are actually starting to starve. It seems like we are having a hard time sustaining this population, and so there will be plenty... Oh, that you didn't need to kill another zebra, excuse you. Ah, the lions apparently like killing rather than eating what's already there. Uh, that's fantastic. Okay. Let's just make sure we place in some more bushes here so that we don't lose too much of our zebra population um, to starvation and so that we can sustain the population we're going to need for uh, the lions to be able to survive there. Now, I'm just going to go ahead. We will place another wildebeest. That seems to be the easiest way of doing it. And I'm going to actually put another bush out there because these are more nutritious bushes. And so we kind of want to make sure that we have these guys going back and forth between watering holes too. Because then they'll be more easily able to, um, to sustain the lions as well. Let's have you go this way. I don't want you to... Um, I, I want you to take down a wildebeest. There we go. Uh, I want these guys to prey on the wildebeest as much as possible because then they're not going to be, um, <laughs> they're not going to be, they're not going to be eating all of our zebras. Now, the other thing I want to do is we have another watering hole right here. We want to get a zebra population started, but I'm also going to put some grass in this middle area because we're going to need more hyenas and this is a good way to get started. Oh, we have zebras here already. Okay, let's actually put in a hyena population right here and they can kind of help out with the zebras because they'll kind of help them stop them from starving so we should be able to take down no we can't oh no i feel bad now okay well we do need them to go after the spring hares to start off with they probably have to be adult hyenas to be able to take on uh the zebra like that because we just immediately had that hyena die oh i feel bad now all right where are our wildebeest i'm gonna steal you for a second and we're going to show you this other area here, which again is going to go straight through the heart of hyena territory, uh, which I don't mind. I think that's actually a good thing because this will provide some prey for them in the future. We probably want to put some more bushes over here and we'll want to put um, some more hyenas in and some more grass. So let's place a couple of them and I'm going to use that to place some more grass first off. Um... For now, I'm going to place an, an, one elephant here. We can generally have a single one here, and that'll help 
but eventually I want to move the elephants to another watering hole and I think I want to actually go for this one because there is uh, a tree right there. So as soon as we have a little water here, I'm going to put in another elephant and we're actually going to escort the one that we have out here. Uh, so let's see where this guy is. He's pretty good on food and water, so we're going to have you start to make this journey all the way over here. Our giraffe population is doing quite good, which is really good to see. Uh, they can be a little bit tricky to maintain. Our zebra population definitely needs to ramp up, though, and uh, so that's something we need to work on. Let's have you stay over here because there is another elephant uh, here that you can hang out with, and they should probably have a baby at some point soon here. Uh, we'll place that in. And you know what? I'm just going to place another elephant. We'll start to fill this up a bit more. Apparently, all of our vultures have died off, which is not good news. So where is this other watering hole? It's right over here. The hyenas are kind of taking it over, it looks like. But let's place some vultures here because we've got some carrion. And I'm just going to place another one in. And we'll use that to place another bush over here. So we do need our uh, hyena population to go up again. There's some nice food right here, so let's just add a couple more right here. And that'll help us out quite a lot. The wildebeest really are um, quite an, imp an impressive herd size. They're growing quite a lot. So let's place some more grass, and then I'm going to put another bush here. We need... how many of these do we have? We've got enough vultures at the moment. Um, they're all wandering around here, which is good news. They're kind of following the hyenas. Um, let's actually place a couple more right here. And what we're going to start to do then is we're going to start to work on this watering hole. Again, we want to make sure we can sustain a zebra population. And we probably need to put in some more giraffes as well because I don't know how big of a herd size they are. Uh, I think they're probably going to be five just like the elephants. But uh, I don't know where they're all hanging out. Uh-oh. We've got, well, we've we've still got some zebras. That's good. I'm going to kind of make sure, oh, they just had a baby too. I'm going to make sure I jumpstart that population because we have four lions here. But we do have the wildebeest and they do seem to be preying on the wildebeest to some degree as well. Oh, our flamingo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're, we, we need to place more more bushes quickly. Okay, let's start... Let's fill this a little bit more, and we'll start filling this one up, because that was almost a catastrophe. So we've got a lot of bushes here. We can place some more zebras in this area. We will put some more hyenas in as well. I just want to make sure we get this population up. And I'm going to put some giraffes over here, because we've got bushes right here. Or, not bushes, we've got trees. And so I'm going to put some giraffes in right over here. And that'll help us out, I think. I'm also going to start kind of establishing another route between here. And uh, that'll give us another place to set up hyena population. So let's place one giraffe and two giraffe. And then as soon as these guys are um, a little bit more well watered, we're actually going to lead them up this way. They run so funny. Uh, and we're actually going to lead them up here and uh, bring them over to this other watering hole that we just started so that they know where all this food and water is. I'm going to lead them right over here. There we go. And uh, I'm going to start putting some flamingos in the water here. We want to start uh, that population up. Do we have any over here as well? Uh, we do not, so we want to make sure we get a population going here. We've got quite a few hyenas out here, actually. Um, I think I'm going to put another bush to kind of encourage more uh, wildebeest to come through. And we kind of, well, we probably want to start a new wildebeest population, actually. So I'm going to place two of them right here. We'll let them get a drink. I guess that actually helped us quite a lot. And we'll go ahead and place that one in. So now our giraffe population should start to go up again. Where are the wildebeest? You're pretty good on water now, so we're going to have you run out this way, and we're going to just show you the path to the other watering hole. There's a lot of hyenas out here. Wow. Um, they haven't eaten all the spring hairs, have they? No, there's still quite a few left. So we're going to bring the wildebeest right through here. It's amazing how much life is starting to thrive, kind of in, even in between the watering holes. So I'm hoping these herds will stay a little bit separate, but they may not, and that's kind of, it's okay. If they blend together, it's not a huge deal. Whoa, okay. Refill, refill, refill. Where's the watering hole to refill? Oh gosh, okay. Um, please tell me that it's not just wasting it because I'm worried that's what's happening. So let's place quite a few of these bushes around. And then we'll start to add some zebras here and get a population started there. Um, 
Uh, our lions are still above goal, which is really, really good. It's just the hyenas that need to have a bigger goal or that we need to have more of at the moment. Uh, most of our creatures are pretty close to that. It's just these main goals that we're still kind of struggling with here. So as soon as this stops raining, I'm actually going to fill this up more. There we go. And then do we have anything on the in-between? Not really. So we need to find some place else that we can put hyenas. Holy moly, that is a big pack of them. Wow. All right, where? Okay, we've got we've still got quite a lot of spring hairs. This population is absolutely fine. Uh, we just need to find maybe I'll put I'll put one hyena out here. Oh, not that far, but over here because we do have a spring hair population and I think they are actually overpopulating to a degree. So we need to be kind of careful with that. Uh, let's also start a population or a, a, we'll start kind of a, a midway place here as well. And that'll enable us to get some wildebeest in. Uh, did I? No, that was that giraffe was already there. I was like, did I just place another giraffe by mistake? And we still have enough bushes here, so that's good. Let's let these wildebeest get a drink, and then we're going to kind of lead them over this way. Now, it's our flamingo numbers that need to go up. And I probably am going to add some of them by hand. And I think we also don't have any in this area over here. Uh, so we want to make sure we add those. It looks like our other populations are pretty steady, though. So that's good news for us. Uh, this wildebeest can come over here and get some food. And let's go ahead and we'll add some flamingos to the water right here. We can go ahead and put some uh, of these bushes here in the middle. And for the most part, our trees are actually fine, I think. That one's full. This one's full. Are there any others that we need to actually fill up more? Full and... F oh, this one needs a little bit more. Okay, so we're almost completely full there. Uh, let's come out here, and I'm going to actually place some spring hair. So we'll put quite a few of them, and then we will add a hyena or two. We'll start to, whoa, we'll start to get a population in place here. We'll go ahead and add some more of this grass. And this will create a nice midway area. And now we need to place more elephants, which is kind of a tricky thing to pull off. So what is that noise? That's the giraffes. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize that was the noise they made. That's, wow, that's a little bit crazy apparently. I didn't, I didn't know they made noises like that. Wow. <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting that. I didn't know what to expect from a giraffe, but it was not that. So let's place, we need actually quite a few elephants. I think some of our populations seem to be down because we only have, um, no, we're, we're losing elephants. Where are we losing elephants? Not right here. Did we, where do they go? They're not at this watering, oh, they are at this watering hole. What happened here? Oh, I guess they must have tried to migrate or something, but it didn't work out. Okay, well, we're putting another one here. And, oh, one of them did die over here as well. So we're going to put one more in. And now we're going to place a lot more trees because, oh my goodness, okay, whoa, whoa, okay. <laughs> we're going to place a lot more trees because apparently the places that we're putting them, they don't have enough uh, we also, oh, because the giraffes are eating some of them too. We also want to make sure that we get our giraffes uh, wandering. Oh my goodness, okay. We have a lot of goals completing all at once here. Uh, let's get some more flamingos in the water here. And that'll actually get us to our next goal. Even another one here will get us to our next goal. Let's place some more of these around here because we are starting an elephant population. And then I want the giraffes to see the uh, population out here. Okay, let's put another hyena here and another hyena and we're going to start placing a lot of this grass and uh, we're going to start placing quite a bit of that in because this will start to be kind of the connection between this area and this area over here so our wildebeest will be able to wander through there. Now we need another lion population to start up, so let's actually come over here. We've got a lot of zebras, and so this will be a good place to start that off, I think. Um, we can go ahead and just by hand place another elephant. Oh no, I placed him in the wrong spot, I think. Yeah, they're chasing him. Okay, 
quickly go up go up this way go up this way they're gonna chase you off if you're not careful so oh I don't think he's gonna make the journey though we're gonna try our best to get him over there but he's out of water and I think he's gonna probably yet yeah, he didn't make it oh that's unfortunate that was not what I wanted to have happen here okay let's place some more grass in right along the way to this watering hole and we'll actually place another elephant here we need another lion and so I'm gonna go ahead and put one in here because again we do have a significant population over here so let's just link this grass up even a bit more because I want to start putting some wildebeest in and getting them to kind of traverse this path so we'll go ahead we'll place a couple of them in we'll let them get a drink I'm gonna place some more bushes because we do seem to have quite a few of them dropping here and uh, let's let these guys get some water and then we're actually gonna lead them out this way I think I picked the wrong one. I think I picked the one that doesn't have a lot of water, but that's okay. I think he'll be all right still, so we can have him stop and get some food on the way maybe. But I'm going to lead him all the way down here, so there should be more grass right here. I'll let him stop and get a bit, a, a bit to eat here, so he should go and eat. Yeah, he's going to do that. He'll get his food up and uh, get it up by quite a bit. There we go. It does, uh, it does go up quite fast usually and then we'll keep leading him onward here. We're gonna lead him all the way out to the other watering hole. I don't know if his friend is following him or not, but I want him to pass it on and um, to kind of know what this area is all about. Okay, so there's grass right there. Now this is the kind of dangerous spot because this is where all the hyenas live. So hopefully none of them decide they would like to eat him on the way, but uh, it looks like he's okay. He's made it through. Actually, no, the hyenas came this way. Okay, that's not so great. These guys might actually try and go after him, but we've led him all the way out here now. He can go ahead and get some food. We need more vultures, so let's put vultures over here. And I'm going to make sure, again, that our zebra populations are doing well. So let's actually... Are they going after... They're going after the, are they going after the wildebeest? They're not going after the wildebeest. But we need more uh, bushes around here, I think, because our zebra population is still very small and we want to change that. So let's put in another giraffe population too. We've got some over here, but I want some that will take advantage of these trees. So I guess the best place to put them is probably up here. Uh, let's go ahead, we will place one and we'll place another one in a moment. And we'll just let them head down uh, this way. And uh, once they have a little bit more water, we'll bring them out this way. And then they should be able to take advantage of the trees down here that no one else is eating. And uh, that should be pretty good for them. I don't know why our flamingo population has just completely died. Uh, everybody's dead for some reason. They just didn't make it. Uh, but out there, there's some trees. Let's go ahead and send them towards these trees because this is a lot of the ones that I wanted them to see. Now we need to put an elephant someplace else. I'm gonna put just one lone elephant here because we need to be able to place more. Okay, I guess now we're putting two elephants and I'll put a tree and we'll put a vulture here because we have a lot of dead animals here. Okay, whoa, lots of uh, lots of stuff happening. Let's place in a lot more, um, a lot more of those bushes and then even more trees. We will put another elephant in. Uh, our vulture population is low, as is our elephant population, but uh, this is going to help our zebras out significantly. So that one's got a lot of bushes around it. This one doesn't have nearly as many, and I think this is where we're actually missing a zebra population. So let's put some of them in here, and I think we'll be okay. We actually need more vultures again, too. I'm going to place several zebra here. We'll put one more in and then we'll start focusing on vultures because we need to find where those vultures are actually going to be hanging out. Over here would be a good place for them. And no, this is actually where some of them died. No, but this would be a, this should be a good place for them. I guess they were just so hungry they all tried to come to the carcass and they didn't even make it. So we'll leave them out. We'll leave them over here. We'll place several of them here, I think, because they're the lions will be killing a lot of stuff. They will be making a lot of uh, a lot of kills from the wildebeest, and we don't have zebras in here anymore either. We completely lost that population, although our zebra population is very close 
to being stable. We just need, oh, no, and I say that and it drops again. All right, it's get, it's very close to its goal. We've got 12 of 16 giraffes. I think we kind of just have to wait a little bit at this point and uh, see what happens here because we're pretty close. It's just going to take us a bit more. I want to get these vultures in so that we can get another set of, um, uh, so that we can get another set of, uh, of jewels here because if we get enough jewels, then we'll be able to, um, to add more bushes around this watering hole. And I think that's kind of what's holding us back with our zebra population. So let's place some more here. We actually need more lions. Let's put more zebras here though, because we actually only need two for our goal. Now that one's gonna yet yeah, that one got immediate is gonna get immediately taken down pretty much. Oh yeah, somebody got him. So we'll place some more in. These wildebeest keep eating these bushes though. The lions are having babies. Um we need another population though to get that gem. So let's place in some more zebras. I just want to place enough to make the population be stable. And I don't know why our giraffe population is dropping. But uh, these guys have decided to come over here to get water, apparently. So our zebras are still eating these bushes, which is good news. I want to find another spot to put a lion because I want the gem from it. So do we have lions over here? We've got lots of hyenas. We've got some death happening over here and we don't have any lions, so I'm going to put one in. And we actually need more spring hares now. Uh, we can place them someplace else. How many do we need? We need... Quite a few, actually, so let's place some more. We can just put several down here. And our population is still dropping. Okay. Uh, 55 and 57. The flamingos is, like, woefully low. I don't really know why, but we need to put more of these bushes in for our zebras, which are non-existent again. There's one zebra here that's still alive. And, okay, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, once that, oh, we got even more. Okay, let's just place more of these bushes. We're gonna need a lot of them, and now it's a flamingo goal, so we're probably not gonna ever actually reach that unless, well, if we replenish some of these populations, maybe we actually will be able to. And we do have quite a few zebras here. We're actually at goal for the zebra. Uh, we just need more giraffes, and I don't know why their population has gone down so much, but, uh, yeah, so we've got one giraffe here. Oh, that's probably what happened. Oops, the giraffe was on that page. Um, probably what happened is we lost enough giraffes from one population that uh, there's only one left. And so now we can't repopulate that. So let's have you head out here and rejoin with the giraffes over here and see uh, what's going on. Oh, we've actually got several, though. We can probably just keep placing some of them in, though. And are there trees around here? There are some trees. So we can put a couple giraffes in over here. And then we'll teach them about the trees in the other area. We have 13 of 16 now, so this will be 14 of 16. I don't know if we'll see any of them reproduce, but we're actually very close to just being able to complete this. So now that you've got your water almost full, let's bring you out this way so that you can see the trees over here and to get some food from them. These are going to be, well, actually some of those aren't better trees, but they're going to be trees that are less occupied, like they're less likely to have somebody eating from them. And in just a minute here, we should be able to place our last giraffe and actually finish, oops, that's the flamingo, actually finish off this mission. And there we go. So we unlocked chapter 18 and we got the smoky crater sandbox, which sounds pretty interesting. So we finally got past this level. And I think, again, one of the things that I do is I focus too much on the, um, the side goals for jewels and not on the main goals. And so if I do that more, then I think that'll help out quite a bit. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today because it is about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.